All right, day two. Actually, this is more like day four. I haven't refreshed my bowl method curls since Saturday. No, since Friday, and it's Tuesday. I was not, I know everybody says that, I am not expecting that video to blow up. But oh my god, I was not expecting that video to blow up. It's the second bowl method curl video I've done. The second video I was like, oh, I'm getting a little bit better at this, so let me show you what I do. And oh my god, you all came for me. I mean, most people were nice, but the amount of waste of product, waste of time, washing all the product out. Wham, my clients listen to people like you on the internet, but they don't listen to me. Well, dude, maybe that's a you problem. It sounds like a communication issue. Maybe try making a video. People are visual learners. So I'm going to go ahead and preface this because apparently I freaking have to. I am not a hairstylist. I am just playing around on the internet and showing you guys what I do, what works for me. If you don't like it, keep scrolling. This is the squeezy, the shaky squeezy bottle that I put the bowl method excess water into to create my curl refresher spray. The bottom half of my hair is what gets tangled when I go to sleep and stuff. So I could just spray it down without brushing any part of it. And that works fine. And I do do it sometimes. I only wash my hair about once a week. So if I don't brush it out, or at least parts of it in between refreshers, then my hair gets really knotted. And to answer your question, why not think? I don't have a bathroom sink in my camper. All right, so I do that and I go layer by layer until the top, if it's not too knotted, I won't brush out the top. I'll just spray it. Oh, by the way, check this out. This is the air stick cradle. This is what you're on. Look at that floof. I do the bowl method like twice a week. And then all the other days I either don't do anything or I do this to refresh. Oh, and I also got questions about how I get my part to not look weird if once like if I'm drying my hair all the way forward, which is hilarious because I actually had included that in the original filming of that video and I cut it out because I was like, no one's gonna care, it's obvious. Basically what I do is once it's dried a little bit in the t-shirt, I go like this and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> And if there's any parts that look weird or whatever, I do like detangle a little with my fingers and then spray it up. Someone's like, that's way too much product. It might have been too much product, honestly, but my hair looked great. Again, I feel like this should go without saying, but everyone's hair is different. I have extremely coarse, extremely dry hair. So I need to use a lot of product for it to look like that. But that's not saying that that's how much product you should use. I'm just showing you what I do. The last thing I'm gonna say about the comments on that video, the amount of people who were offended by me calling my hair curly. I am sorry. Yes, I am aware that it's wavy. I just figured wavy kind of falls under the curly spectrum. I apologize. This is a wet brush. It's made for using on wet hair. I don't normally brush the whole thing out because I usually will refresh every day, but I told you I've been lazy for the last two days. So I've just it's just been getting naughty and naughty and naughtier. Also, don't brush your hair like this. Start from the bottom. <laughs> Don't do what I do. In this version of the refresher, I basically just soaked my hair with the spray bottle, which is much easier than dipping your whole head in a bowl of water or a sink. But I don't always do it this way. Sometimes I just scrunch. Today I needed to do the extra tingling. Scrunchy scrunch and see how she dries. Also, pro tip while it's drying, my mom taught me this. For volume, scrunch it all up. Still a little wet, but she's almost dry. And you get the idea.